Beyond Press Channel Today I'm going to make my magnet project tools ready for crushing So I have I have I have both this thick aluminium blocks that I am going to use between my magnets and the press and I am going to now drill holes to them for uh, mounting the plastic frame that is holding the magnets and um, the other one I am going to drill hole for this rod that is going to mount to the press piston and the other one I am going to weld to the aluminium plate yeah, let's start with the drilling. the holes on both of these I didn't stretch the holes because I don't have M6 uh, thread tool on the tool sensor ready so I just can use power drill and do it by hand so it's much faster and now I still have to make hole for this so I can attach that to the press piston and I'm going to use the uh, milling head and uh, rotation to do that because I am too lazy to get the 45 mm drill and attach to it the machine and then drill the hole I just can use the drill head, uh, not the milling head and just like this and this should fit quite nicely yeah and I could maybe put some kind of holding screw over there to hold it but I think I am going to just use the Loctite glue and glue it to the place because there is any no any forces through this this is just holding this up that it don't fall also the Loctite is good enough the pressing force goes through this surface right here so this doesn't matter to that so I apply the Loctite here so now I have my aluminium parts ready or I am going to tomorrow bolt this to this but I didn't have uh, suitable bolts right now so I have to go buy them and this is going to be the bottom part and and I am uh, going to screw this to the press table with some clamps so this is going to be securely uh, very very good goodly mounted to the press and this one is going to be top top part and this goes to inside the press piston and here is the screw that locks this in place so they are now ready and I am going to I am going to now bolt the plastic parts and the magnet to this one and I leave this one tomorrow because I don't want to handle it with the magnet any more than I am forced to do so now we are going to assemble this one. This is the 
magnet and it is inside of this plastic frame and it is on quite tight press fit. I had to uh, careful to carefully uh, install it with by hitting small wood part and it is quite tightly there so it doesn't go anywhere and when pressing it just want to go harder and harder inside that aluminium so I think that is going to be good and here is the performance data sheet of those magnets and when magnet is pulling itself to the steel it is 116 kilograms at zero distance and at 21 millimeters it is just only seven and a half kilos so when I have 60 millimeters here and 50 millimeters there the magnetic force here and here is quite low and on the side also because it goes like this so here isn't much of pull at all so it is quite well protected because my and it's good because my press is made out of steel so I don't want to install any dangerous objects that are going to destroy my hand between magnet and press if I accidentally do something stupid so now I'm going to uh, apply the stainless steel bolts here and they are stainless steel because the stainless steel isn't affected the magnet uh, very much you can hardly feel that the magnet is pulling those bolts but it is okay only thing that I had with worries is the this tool but it isn't anything that I cannot handle even with no I don't put it like this but if you go right here and it is it is not too bad and even with like this you can still pull it out because this is so small the large magnet won't won't be a problem. Yeah I am now going to carefully install those bolts to there. And I am doing this on my living room because here isn't any metal parts in like my shop there is metal everywhere so I am here to keep things safe. And now I am installing these to there. These holes are a bit too tight it is quite a task. To yeah I am about halfway of my bolt assembly project this is really slow work because because this is always going to that direction and I don't I am not sure how many kilograms here is but it is it is quite plenty so even with this small part I don't want to get my fingers in between there so I must be very careful and just screw like this and not like this because when it goes there my my fingers would be in the way but I'm continuing the project and soon we are ready yeah I get bored while turning those screws so my wife made this beautiful green finger and now we are going to test would this tool be a problem with the magnet uh, yeah I think that would be a problem but I am also hoping that my finger isn't as soft as this play do but but yeah this is bad day so now I have my uh, upper tool ready so here is the press and and here is the lower part or something like that and for now the magnet is exposed but I'm going to place this cover over here and apply shitload of duct tape over there 
So now if we try with the, this steel part, it is still slightly magnetic, but no, no nothing crazy. Yeah, I think I'm going to test a bit larger steel parts also. Yeah, I applied some tape to the magnet to or the plastic to keep this on place while I'm testing it with these. Yeah, it is very mildly mag magnetic. I think even with if this drops and my hand is between this and press, there is no problem. And the, and the performance sheet says the same. And from the side, there is really, really small amount of mag magnetic force. I just barely feel it. And then the press side, yeah, nothing at all. So I think this is, now this is, I, I still I don't trust this tape, I change it to the duct tape for tomorrow. Or even Gorilla tape, something very strong. And I still have to be careful when installing this and I have to also make the bottom part also, but it is the same deal as the upper one. I also tested that I have installed the magnet wrong way, because now this is the uh, bottom side up and it is there is slight repelling force right now, or quite large, and with this the this tucks to there. And even with quite a good amount of feeling, there is something like maybe five kilograms of pull. So I have to tomorrow remove this one from there and turn it around and put it back. And then install it to the again. But it's good that I check it because it, <laughs> it wouldn't have been ideal to install those in the press and remove the seals and magnets just fly together and explode or I think that would be also a quite cool video maybe I do <laughs> that one next but it it isn't the idea on this video yeah I think that is all for today thank you for watching and have a nice day